Dr. Joanne Smith, and I'm a history guide here in Carlmore Abbey. We're actually in the dining room, and we have dressed the dining room uh, with uh, the concept of Look Who Comes to Dinner. The concept around this is that we've worked in, with the archivist here in Carlmore to actually look as to who the Mitchell Henrys were actually entertaining in the castle in the 19th century. What poignant figures from Ireland's historical past actually went through the doors. So really it's as if the walls can talk. And here, uh, sat beside the, uh, uh, our Royal Highness, the Duke of Connacht, is Lady Augusta Gregory, which, who is a, so poignant to Irish history. Of course, Lady Augusta Gregory came, was Lady Augusta Pierce from Roxburgh House. She married Sir William Gregory from Cool Park and became a huge figure in 19th century history and the Celtic revival, literary revival. Very good friends with W.B. Yeats. So if you think about the type of people the Mitchell Henrys were, they too also embraced the, the Irish uh, literary revival and everything connected to the Celtic twilight and anything Celtic and Irish in the 19th century. So you can see the conversations would be really interesting around the table with the Duke of Connacht at the head of the table, Lady Jane Francesca Wilde sitting beside Lady Gregory, and it always interests me as to why Mitchell Henry would, Henry would entertain these people. He was a benevolent landlord. And reading through books on Lady Augusta Gregory, she too was benevolent on her estate at Cool Park, as it's written that she uh, had she had a, she collaborated with the workhouse children in the uh, the town of Gort, and it is said that she brought the children every year. It became an annual outing for the workhouse children to go to Cool Park and be entertained by Lady Gregory and her son Robert. Uh, they would go for picnics and uh, nature trails through the parks of, uh, of, of through Cool Park, uh, which again is very similar to Mitchell Henry and his benevolence here in Carlmore, as it is noted in our records that he after he actually rebuilt a lot of the houses on the estates and put new new windows in all the cottages here on the estate in Carlmore, and also paid over and above. Uh, the average wage for every man that and woman that worked here on the estate in the 19th century.